Hey, so I'm Brian, this is Ben. We are the developers for Rapid. Um, I guess we'll start about the, uh, the the agenda. We're gonna keep it pretty simple. This is a workshop. So, you know, what we have planned for this is just a quick little intro up front of just what is Rapid. Um, we're gonna show off some of the new features of Rapid 2.0. And we could just get into some editing just to kind of show you how easy the tool is to use, how easy it is to, um, you know, find data sets and work with them in Rabbit. Uh, and then we'll do some some live editing. So what is Rapid? Um, you know, it is, to recap, this is uh, an editor for OpenStreetMap. Uh, it does run in your web browser. And so if you're familiar with the ID, Rapid is, uh, has a very similar workflow. Um, it supports open data sets. Um, some of these are derived from AI. Some of them are derived from official sources. Um, we have a partnership with Esri, which allows us to bring a lot of this data that has been shared through their community data sharing program uh, directly into the editor so that you can see it, you can um, you know, make edits with it. And finally, um, one thing that's cool, we just wrapped up a whole lot of work over the past few years to replace uh, the rendering engine. Uh, so you'll find that Rapid is now like lightning fast. It's a whole lot faster than it was before. Um, so that when, you know, you need this sort of speed when you're combining OSM, which is already a pretty rich data set and getting more data dense as, you know, every day with other data layered on top of it. Um, we have a talk tomorrow about some of that work. So if you're really interested in kind of the tech details of the rendering engine, that's going to be more something we talk about tomorrow. Um, so first off, we just launched Rapid version 2 uh, this past April. So it's still pretty new. Um, if you've used it before, one of the first things you'll notice, I think, is that Rapid has a new logo. Um, we don't uppercase the D anymore. <laughs> Very important. Yes. Very important. <laughs> um, and we also have like this, this cool little logo here. And if you really like it, obviously, we got some stickers and some swag. So you can either come by our table over there or we've got some here, too. Um, so, and shout out to our uh, our design folks uh, for for helping us out with this. This is uh, we have a, a whole team of people supporting us now, which is which is pretty excited. Uh, we also have a new home. <laughs> uh, if you know, we've moved to rapideditor.org. If you've been uh, kind of following our work, you know that we used to call ourselves Map with AI, um, and so we're moving away from that because Rapid is kind of its own project, you know, of its own, um, and. You know, Map with AI is still, it's the site's still up, but I think it's still up. It sort of has some older Before content ever. on it. Yeah. Um, in a lot of ways, like we were, we were kind of like, like y'all know, AI is having a moment right now. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Rapid really kind of deserves to be sort of its own, its own project. So um, you can actually go to rapideditor.org and, uh, you either click the uh, get started button or you can navigate to the slash edit and then it takes you right into Rapid. Um, so that's what we're gonna do in a little bit. Uh, first, I kind of wanted to go over, um, we did a lot of thinking as a team uh, over the past year to really refine Rapid's goals uh, and you know what we want to be as a project. This is our vision statement to build a fully featured map editor that allows anyone to easily contribute the data they care about to open maps. Um, so that is really, that's really what we're going for. We have a mission statement as well, um, empowering people to build experiences, conduct research, manage infrastructure and more by building and maintaining the most complete up-to-date and high quality map of the world. So that's really what we're going for. Um, you know, we really wanna see OpenStreetMap become that map. We really wanna add as much information to it as so that people can make meaningful maps out of OSM. And uh, that's really, uh, that's our mission statement. So new features, um, Rapid V2 uh, just came out, like I said, in April. It's uh, got a bunch of new features. The first thing you'll notice is in many, in many situations, it's going to be significantly faster than Rapid version 1. Um, over the past year, we replaced all that rendering code, uh, and it now uses a technology called WebGL to draw the map. Um, this allows us to have a lot more data density. Um, so in places where OpenStreetMap is just really, really well mapped, yeah. Uh, you're not going to be just waiting seconds for the map to draw. It just kind of comes up pretty quickly. So we'll see some of that pretty soon. Um, the rendering rewrite has allowed us to show a lot more features than before. Um, right here, we're actually layering the address data on top of the building data. So this is a, this is a thing that just would not work before. It would have just crashed here. <laughs> um, and you can also edit when zoomed out. So another limitation that Rapid version 1 had was that 
um, if you zoom out more than zoom 15, you would get that button that says like zoom into edit. Um, so we don't really do that anymore. We actually are letting users zoom out a whole lot more um, and still letting them edit. In some cases, the data might be simplified or you know you might not be able to do the kinds of edits that you want to see, but you could still actually change the names of things and you could do some editing. So this is something that we are still kind of refining. Oh, and finally, um, enhanced labeling. Um, now that the render is able to show a lot more text than before, uh, you'll see better labels around the placement of points and you will see more labels around the, the lines as well. Um, and we even label around the perimeter of some, some shapes too. So this is uh, something that we're really happy. It's gonna give users more context for, for editing than what they had before. Um, finally, I just wanna give a shout out to, uh, we're starting to experiment with showing more kinds of data in Rapid. Um, previously, we only had roads, uh, buildings and addresses. Now we're starting to support sidewalks and footways um, that our data sharing partners have made available. I think right now these ones, the footways are just available in pre preview mode, but that preview mode means that um, pretty soon they'll be available to everybody after they've gone through Esri's review process. Mm -hmm.